Hey, that's right. So we had a shooting and a stabbing in this area over the weekend, just about a block away from each other. And it's incidents like those that really have people concerned around here. So I caught up with police here in Towson who showed me what they're doing to help make people feel safer. They're tied more to the radio. Sergeant Dwayne Holt is a member of the Central Entertainment Squad of the Baltimore County Police Department in Towson. It's an eight person team that patrols the central Towson area by car and foot to stop crime. Trying to stop it, get it out and get it to taken care of quickly um, and disperse the problem before it develops into like a fight. I went out with him Thursday night. They'll go out, like I said, they'll park. They'll get out, they'll talk to the bar owners, they'll talk to the bouncers, they'll talk to the stores that are open, they'll go into 7-Eleven, check with the uh, clerk there. So they're out there making contacts with the businesses. This says many residents in Towson remain uneasy due to a string of violent crimes over the past few weeks. This past week alone, a 24-year-old who identifies as a woman was stabbed and someone shot a 28-year-old man near the intersection of Chesapeake and Washington Avenues. There are isolated incidents um, that we generally do not see on a regular basis. Um, it, it's a shame that they happened at all. Um, but our guys responded immediately. Uh, we're able to get any type of medical or any assistance. Now police say they're getting help from businesses. We added 50 surveillance cameras on businesses in Towson. Already 65% of our businesses had surveillance cameras. Nancy Hafford with the Towson Chamber of Commerce says grants have helped them install those new cameras and that's a big help to police. I think you'll see with the cases that have happened over the last few weeks, the camera footage has been an important part of it. On top of that, Holt says they've started putting more officers on the street. We've said, hey, look, on this day we need this many bodies here. This day we need this many. So like on Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, we have the majority of that squad in. Now, Holt also suggests remaining vigilant if you plan to go out. And also, of course, he says that if you see something suspicious, report it. Reporting live here in Towson, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.